The year was 1940. Japan had just mobilized its troops into Manukia and friends into China to take advantage of its abundant resources. This move of aggression shocked the West. Japan wanted to create a colony that would place her among world powers. Meanwhile, Japan's ally Germany had begun to expand under Hitler's control. By October, America received news of Japan's plans to conquer European colonies and advance in American-controlled Philippines and Guam. America had to act fast. If Japan advanced into Britain, this would only give more power to Nazi Germany. As a result, in 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to place an embargo on all oil imports into Japan causing them to lose access to 88% of all oil. Japan faced an important decision. They could either back off and hope the embargo would be eased, or further antagonize the West. Their decision? Attack Pearl Harbor to eliminate American threat. On December 7, 1941, 7.55 a.m., the attack began. Within the first two hours, 2,403 Americans were killed. War had been officially declared. On Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. The Japanese invasion of the Philippines occurred the next day, December 8th, 1941. Prior to the embargo, the Roosevelt administration realized that war between the U.S. and Japan and Germany was inevitable. Originally, the Japanese invasion of the Philippines had been sped up to take place immediately after Pearl Harbor. Without the embargo, the Japanese invasion would have been delayed and America would have declared a war once the Japanese mobilized troops into the Philippines or Britain. If the 1941 oil embargo was never placed, Pearl Harbor never would have occurred. However, the war would have still gone on because the ultimate goal of the U.S. was to prevent Japan and Germany from gaining strength among world powers.